guys remember, I was the first ever world champion in Brawl Stars. However, I've been retired for well over a year now, but today I decided to see if I still have what it takes to make it towards the EMEA monthly finals. So I decided to team up with KC and Cursed for the EMEA monthly qualifiers. I'm really good friend friends with KC and Cursed, and I should have been playing with them for a long time now, but it's the first time I actually got the chance to play with them together. I've been playing a lot of Power League and grinding on stream. However, it's going to take a lot of luck to qualify for the monthly finals. There's probably around 10 plus really amazing teams that scream constantly so it's gonna be really hard to face off against those teams but with zero scrims played we were ready to try and make it the ultimate comeback will we qualify for the monthly finals again or is it too much to ask for make sure to stick around until the end so leading into today we wake up nice and early it's around 10 a.m which is kind of early for a gamer but you get what i mean we load up rude stars to see who our first opponent is and we face no other than anr in the first round so if you're unfamiliar who a and r are they are the seventh in the bsc leaderboard so just going to show that they're a top uh, eight team in bsc making it towards i think those last chance qualifiers that's just how good they are and they've been in pretty much every single monthly final whereas us on the other hand you know we're retired pros we haven't scrimmed whatsoever and i can barely get masters every season so you know it's going to be a hard job they have some of the best players in emea and regular be regularly beat the best teams in the region us however like i mentioned we're literally stuck in mythic free solo power league so it's going to be pretty hard so jumping into the first round the match began on bounty infinite doom which is the new map in the rotation you guys know it's a bit of a weird one a bit of a different meta and the fact that you're probably going to go a lot more of the close range brawlers and none of us really had much idea how to draft whereas on the other side of things they literally have one of the best drafters in the world in arama if you guys know at the top level this guy's insane and if you guys are unfamiliar with the draft format some games can even be won in the draft alone so knowing how to draft and having that skill set is definitely important for a pro player anyway so jumping into the game then so the first mistake straight away we noticed is that we let crow slip through the ban stage we kind of wanted to ban him out and then like idiots we didn't ban him out so they would first pick the crow we already wanted to go amber as well but you can't really go an amber into a crow because crow counters amber probably harder than any other brawler in the game it's literally impossible matchup for amber so we can't go the amber so we basically just gave them two of the best brawlers on this map in chrome and amber we already knew that we were going to be facing a really tough task just because of how poorly we drafted anyways the first round gets loaded up and we lose control very early on and sadly that's just the way the, this map goes if you lose control of the bushes early it's like a domino effect you just get spawn trapped and you it's really hard to gain back control unless the enemy makes some type of mistake and we just really struggled to get back in any of the control so we kind of just knew the first round was completely chalked and especially because it's our first game of the day and just being really overwhelmed by of course a really good team we just got absolutely destroyed so we went into the second round just in our heads just saying to ourselves well, we can't go much worse than that right so we may as well just go into this one with a fresh one thinking if we switch the matchups we might have a bit more of a chance right maybe switch the bow onto someone else just take the m's away from the crow as well crow was just destroying the m's constantly slowing however again the same problem happened again and we just couldn't deal with the aggression and the m's were just left so flat-footed she just couldn't compete with the range unfortunately and crow was just toying with us they were just having such a fun time it looked like getting control of that ground straight away and we just couldn't do anything so in the end we managed to get some decent trend uh, trades but with a dominant draft and a dominant performance from a and r it was literally gg moving on to round number two then we had safe zone which we felt a lot more confident with seen as it's been in a competitive map for such a long time now probably three or four years i played safe zone of course it's got the brand new unbreakable walls so the meta shifts a little bit but we're still fairly confident after playing on power league for such a long time so the draft and bans went okay until we hit a bit of a tough spot so basically it got towards the end and we kind of need to go an aggro brawler we knew buzz was probably the best in that matchup all of us agreed that buzz was the best but none of us could really play buzz if you guys have seen my buzz on stream it is absolutely horrendous so i can't play buzz no one else wanted to play buzz so uh, we went with a daryl which is kind of similar especially at countering the call but the problem with daryl is not too good into a clet so 
you see in this game. Basically, the first round was just so tough because Colette just kept cycling supers over and over again. And Daryl just didn't really get a must, uh, as much value into a call as we really thought. And yeah, we just kept Colette literally a field day. She was cycling supers. There was nothing much we could really do. But going into the second round, we switched it up a little bit and things started to get a lot better. Let's push into him, let's go. Yeah, yeah. Shout out, he's got gadget as well. Don't just run into him, guys. Leave him, leave him, leave him. Clear dead. Put it down 15. Let's go, let's go, let's go. He's dead. Go in, go in, go in. Nice. Come on. We got one, boys. <laughs> Had a lot of faith going into the third round. However, it just wasn't meant to be. Anal were just so much better. First game back. And a loss competitive couldn't be any sweeter but there's still a lot to play for and we can still have that loser bracket run okay that was round number two and going into round three four five and six it was pretty much just a straight sweep all of the time so of course going into loser bracket really early on you're probably going to face much weaker teams right you know we're a half decent team we can hold our own against most players even some of them who were faced off against had masters and it was just pretty easy for us so it wasn't really too much to really gauge from any of these games because it was a straight walk in a park you know i don't mean to be disrespectful because a lot of guys we played were really nice but you could just tell that the, le the, like, the level of the two teams were just so much different okay so we pretty much swept everyone all the way up until round number eight this was the last game game of the day and we had to face off against team queso so again another top 10 team with an emea these guys have been goats for a very long time very good players they did unfortunately lose quite early on kind of like us so we were facing them a little bit earlier we would have hoped to at least get onto day two guaranteed but you know we have to face off against team queso so we load into the first round which was a gold arm gooch and i thought that the draft was going pretty well so we had the help of a few friends as well you know helping us draft a little bit because of course again like some games can literally be won in the draft so any advantage we could get with the help of our friends you know we'll take it we'll take it so going into knockout gold on gooch i thought the compositions were fairly similar they maybe had a little bit better of a draft but i like the way we draft because what we had against a gene for example we had two uh brewers that had gadgets that could tank his pulls so you know i was pretty happy but you know a, a bit of few mistakes from myself especially switching lanes against the eva had even a lot of pressure but things just didn't really go to plan you could tell the communication wasn't there especially for a game mode like knockout we wasn't being slow and being decisive. We were just kind of running at them. We were just being just idiots. We were running like headless chickens and they were taking us down really easily. So I think we got a lost all cool in that knockout game. So already we were down one to zero. Okay, so moving on to round number two, then we had Pinhole Punt Brubble. So again, another map which we all know and love. This map seems to be really good. So you can see by the draft then and how it went the draft seemed to go pretty decent we managed to get crow as a first pick which is definitely a very solid first pick to have they respond with the b and the squeak squeak starting to become more of a meta pick now like normally it's the last pick but people are starting to go it towards like the middle just showing how strong of a pick as squeak is of course and then we try to kind of counter them with some sort of aggression you know bonnie's good against b good against squeak Carl as well could have against those two and then they went with the last pick buzz so you know my thoughts i thought this is a pretty decent matchup just because again you know bonnie can keep distance from buzz a lot of times you know carl isn't the best of matchups but at least he can do some damage to the opponents but it just didn't go the way we planned out we started even though we started off really really good in the first few stages we managed to get a quick goal with bonnie uh well together and uh things were looking pretty decent but then as the game kind of gone on they started to establish control 
And again, the team chemistry just was really bad from all of us, to be fair. Like, I felt like I was doing a decent job on Bonnie. But, you know, against uh, pro players, even the smallest of margins, they can just capitalize on it. So just showing how good they are, they managed to claw the lead back and just pin us into spawn basically the whole time. So going into the second round, then we're literally one round away from losing the whole thing and being swept. So I didn't really want that to happen. So tried to put my tryhard uh, boots on. Uh, but unfortunately, things, again, just didn't really work out. Kind of just got absolutely wrecked. Maybe it should have been a little bit more aggressive in the grass. But these guys, you know, they're pros for a reason and just kind of walk through. So, guys, it's going to be it for today's video. Let me know whether you enjoy these type of videos. Try to do it a little bit different with the voiceover. Let me know if, whether you enjoy that. But I tried to come back to competitive, unfortunately, losing two times in a row. It is pretty painful, but, you know, you can't be disgraced. I faced A&R, who literally... I think they beat like two really top teams, like two, I think they beat two top 10 teams in a row and beat Totem 2-0. So just going to show A&R a really good team and then Team Queso, they're a top 10 team, you know, they're really good as well. So, you know, can't be disgraced. At least we didn't lose to randoms. I know I've still probably got a little bit in me to perhaps cause an upset. But anyways, that's going to be it for today's video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.